I'm going to throw a different one to, to Lucy, which is it, it seems like there are fewer women of color involved in the political process, uh, especially as we change, as demographics emerge, as, as different segments of the electorate become more important and more critical and nationally recognized as important and critical. What can we do to motivate young girls to think about themselves as part of the political process? What, what do we do to get women of color more involved in the political process? Well, I think certainly what we're doing now, um, you know, with this organization, of course, you know, I, I have had Emily's List support since the day that I decided to run back in 2010. Um, and I still have Emily's support as I actually also look at running for lieutenant governor in Nevada. Uh, and I will be making that announcement early 2014. So <laughs> I didn't want to let that cat so, out of the bag. <laughs> it was Emily's List that, you know, really planted that first seed that said, hey, maybe you should think about these other opportunities. And, you know, oftentimes we need that, not just as women, but especially as women of color, because there aren't a whole lot of us out there. You know, in the entire country, uh, we have close to 2,000 state legislators. Only about 80 of those are Hispanic females. And that, to me, is shameful. Because the underrepresentation of people of color, of women, it leads to policies that don't work for everyone. And as you all know, it leads to all of these different environments in which people are not given equal opportunity and the ability to pursue their dreams based on, on their God-given abilities and not because of where they came from or where they grew up. So I just think that we have to continue supporting, um, encouraging, being present, you know, again, just, just being the role models, you know, the fact that you even have three women of color up here is pretty indicative of what Emily's List is doing to support this. And, and I'll tell you, women in general, when we're in, and I was commenting this earlier with Virginia and um, a couple other folks that I was uh, chatting with earlier, women in general, when we're underrepresented in certain career areas, I'm a lawyer, um, Hispanic females are less than 1% of the lawyers in this country. And so we always have to work twice as hard to be considered just average. When you're a woman of color, you have to work four times as hard to be considered just average. And in addition, you are constantly being told that you can't. You're constantly being told that it's too big of a challenge, you won't do it, you won't be successful. And so you're constantly working past these challenges. And if we don't have other women, but especially women of color there to, to support each other and develop that network, then it's just not gonna happen. And so I think we just have to continue building the momentum and continue being those role models and continue with that support system. 